Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Loading Arts comic stream. Comic stream this week. Hope you're all looking forward to it, because I sure am. Good to do another comic. Which comic are we doing? <laughs> Let me see. Oh, it's this one. Okay, it's this. Oh, yeah, this one, of course. Oh, yeah. Good, good, good. It's a good one. Looking forward to drawing it. Uh, but yeah, I don't know how many panels. How many panels is this going to be? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Is the panel prediction still going? Not sure. I think, yeah, yeah, it is. You still have like six minutes to predict how many panels it's going to be. And in the meantime, let's say hello to everyone. Who do we have here? We have Firefry. Hello, Firefry. 27 months. Where has the time gone? Load poker. I have no idea. I don't know where it keeps slipping away to. It's, uh... <laughs> It's a uh, no good that I'm reading the what a short history of nearly everything the book and I'm just having like such existential crises crises at night I'm just trying to think of like what's outside of the universe man like what happened before the big bang my brain keeps breaking time is just slipping time is nothing we're all just atoms very existential in my bed lately when I'm when I'm reading that book uh, hey Dak welcome Dak. 71 months, a tier 2 resub at that. Move to a country where I can actually still watch you for 6 months of the year. I mean, hi! Oh, I was about to do the... I was about to do the RIP animation, but... Didn't want to intrude on Ikubo. Ikubo with the 6 months. Thank you very much. Gold hat for you, Ikubo. And thank you very much, and sincere apologies to Dak. So sorry that the time zone is just... not good. Um... Not sure. Are we in the good daylight savings or the bad daylight savings? I forget. And when is it gonna be good again? What time? Because it's it's different for Europeans. It's different for New Zealanders. Okay. Well, it's good that at least it can't get any worse. It's bad right now. Bad, very bad. Says quiet artist. Oh dear. I'm only here because I have a day off tomorrow. Well, thank you very much for dropping by, Dak. Thank you very much. And, uh, hey, have a good, excellent day off tomorrow. Wait, is tomorrow a public holiday? Can't even remember. But then again, public holidays for New Zealand and England don't overlap too much anyway. Some overlap. Especially when it's, like, queen-related. Or king-related now. I don't know. But, uh, I, I always completely forget. As soon as I started working from home, and self-employed public holidays have just become like a nuisance, if anything. Because <laughs> it means that I have to pay more for my coffees at cafes and things. But that's about it. Good for everyone else. Also, Dower, thank you very much for the 66 months. Satan number minus 600. Thank you, Dower. Welcome back. And Stephen Luxie, hello, hello. Might be the last time I'll watch a stream. In my current apartment before moving in with my BF. Wait. Wait. Aww. I was trying to figure out, like, what, what order of reactions should I do for that? You had, a, you had us going on for a ride there. Last time to watch the stream in the current apartment before moving in with your BF. Well, congrats. Pre-congrats. And, uh... Excellent. I, I look forward to seeing the new place. I'll be like looking around like this, like, oh, nice. Love what you've done with the corner over there. And oh, this part's really cool. A lot of sunlight. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say it yet. It's going to break the illusion when I, when I do happen to do it in the new apartment, but we'll see. But yeah, congrats on, on the move and good luck with it as well. Best of luck with the moving. It's never easy. Also, I'm a box 23. Thank you for following as well. Welcome. And uh, who else we got here? We got Nick Tafi, Super Tux, Fenzi, Yodo. Uh, hey, good to see you, Yodo. Hope you're feeling back to 100%. Uh, Maggie is here. We got Lishy17, Renee, Annie, hello, hello. Detonator is here. Wind Up Doll is here, hello. Uh, Coma Code, of course, hello. Tofu, Stormy Stick, hello, hello. 50M Nifty as well, hello. 
Quiet Artist, of course. Stroik, Janakis, uh, Sarissi, uh, Oliver Pew Pew Pew. Hello, hello. And scrolling down some more. And uh, come up with 100 bits. Nice, a nice cap to that. A nice cap to that segment, a welcoming segment. Uh, come up with 100 bits. I still have dreams of being in high school, worried about forgetting to study for an exam. I want the stress to stop. Funny, yeah, people have that that stress a lot. Uh, that 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 kind of reoccurring nightmare. I never do. <laughs> I don't know if it's because, like, the last few years of my high school, I just completely just shut down that part of my brain where I give a shit about exams. Uh, I just I just gave up toward the end of of high school. Uh, once I realized I wanted to go to into game development and then <laughs> later on web comic, the web comic industry, my brain inside was like, you don't need any of these exams. <laughs> it don't matter. So yeah, I was I've been fortunate enough to not have any of those reoccurring can't forget to study for my exam dreams. Uh, I'll tell you what my reoccurring nightmare is though. Uh, showing up late to the cinema. That is one of the recurring nightmares. I'm always like late for the cinema. I don't know where it is. I don't know where I'm supposed to meet my friend or something. And then it's just all these distractions and then uh ooh. and then I then I'm like, oh, is there even point is there any point to watching the movie now? Because I'm like, you know, two and a half hours late. <laughs> There's that. Oh, and then also on a similar note, my other recurring nightmare is being late for the stream. Almost the exact same formula. Like so many distractions. And then everyone's waiting in the chat, and then this is going wrong, and I gotta do this, and then I'm not even that I'm not live yet. I am live, but for some reason there's like other things I have to do, so I'm just like BRBing on screen. And then that is also yeah a reoccurring nightmare, uh, which <laughs> always just comes back a little bit into reality when I actually am late, uh, like today. Apologies, apologies for that. But we'll make up for it for uh, by um working twice as hard <laughs> or well, lying twice as hard. Bobby. That's usually my more go-to remedy. Hey, uh, little manic X, thank you for following. And is there more? Is, we have one more minute, I think, less than that, to predict how many panels this week's comic's gonna be, and then we're gonna reveal the comic, at least the sketch of it. Uh. Maggie, did you watch the movie? E -E -E -E? Um, I have not yet. I have not yet seen that movie. Of course, Maggie is refer referring to my Instagram story where the uh, cinema downtown, like the city sent the, the main cinema, IMAX, if you will, only IMAX in the country, the main cinema in the biggest city of New Zealand has had their marquee sign and pretty much everything else completely neglected for like the past four years. And the marquee sign that's sh shining out to the Queen Street, the main street of New Zealand. Uh, right now, there are two movies playing. Uh, something called Darkopa. Darkop, and then lowercase a. Or e let me just let me even just find you the photo because I don't think the story exists anymore because you know how those things only last for 24 hours. Let me just show you the picture. And so, yeah, those are the two two movies that are playing on seemingly continuum. Uh, here we go. Let me see. Let me see. There we go. And you know what? I'm just going to quickly jump over here. So, yeah, here we go. Let me just... Here's the center. And then if, if you look over here, these are the two movies we're playing. Da cop, uh, da cop, uh, and an e, 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 and it's just constantly scrolling like that. Uh, no one gives a shit. It's been broken for years. And, uh, it's completely neglected and falling apart. But, Benzie, congrats on that spider. But, tell you what, these are at least two new movies. Um, because up until, I think, recently, before change to these two movies, it has been pretty sure it's been Rise of Skywalker and Jojo Rabbit for like three years, two and a half years or something. Uh, so finally, it's changed to something else. But 
Anywho. Anywho. On that note, I believe it's time for... Comic reveal and also comic code status of the, of the Maggie sauce deliciousness. Uh, the Maggie sauce deliciousness has been delayed and pushed back further. Because I can't find it, comic code. Every time I'm in the grocery store, I'm in different grocery stores, I'm keeping an eye out for this magical Maggie sauce uh, from Europe. Anywhere on the shelf, can't find it. I see other Maggie products. I'm seeing Maggie, 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 Maggie soup powder, uh, chicken seasoning, taco mix powder, a lot of like paper, pa paper sachet things, but never the glass sauce bottle, uh, European or otherwise. But I'm still keeping my eye, my eye out, comma code. I'm going to try and hit up some more of the uh, uh, black market, underground. CD underground underbelly markets. Maybe, maybe I can find it there. But as far as like the mainstream, you know, you got your new world and you got your pack and save. I haven't seen it there. <laughs> All right. Also, a little manic. Hey man, I've been following for t following for 2016. Uh, finally taking a chance to say thank you for all these laughs over the years. Oh well. Aww. Thank you very much, little manic X. Thank you for following since 2016. That is like seven years. Jeez Louise, seven years. Um, and thank you very much for the kind words. Thank you for liking my comics. And I hope you're going to like this next one, which I'm going to be revealing in just a second now, now that the prediction is locked and loaded. Uh, let us reveal the new comic. <clears throat> Let's see here. Oh, before that, though. Before that, though. Uh. Uh. That, that cinema sign is honestly just a look into my mind. Constant noise and incoherentness at the same time. <laughs> and Dark Cop sounds like the perfect title for an 80s B movie about an anti hero police officer living in some kind of dystopia. <laughs> it's true. Dark Cop A. You know, it's the first of, I don't know, 26 uh, movies in that, in that series. Looking forward to Dark Cup B. Anyways, comic reveal time. Pause the music. <clears throat> comic reveal time? Uh, it's just... Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Nope, not that. Hold on. Uh... <laughs> Yay. Hope you like the new comic, everyone. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Anyway, close this. Close this. Don't, lo don't look at this. Okay, here it is. All right, hold, hold your horses. Hold your booze until the end. Pause alerts here. Jeez Louise. <sighs> okay, here's the comic. Ooh, you're a cutie. What's your name? Excuse me, but that is extremely inappropriate. I was talking to your cat. Oh, oh. Her name is Bella. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. All right. So, Bella, you single? Whoop. Whoop. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Completely messed up the, uh, the, the sound effects there. But yeah, another cat girl from comic? Yes, do not read into this. Don't read into this too hard. Get, get your little furries out the way here. <laughs> this is simply... This is simply just whatever is on the forefront of my brain all the time. That's all I can think about every week. Just having intimate relationships with cats. What else do you want from me? <laughs> it's, as they say, write what you know. Write what you know. So anyway, congrats to the winners. Um, let's see who they are. That what is it? one, two, three, four, five, six panels? <clears throat> six panels. And uh, let's see here. <clears throat> the reveal of the winners are <clears throat> boom. We have. Oh, oh my goodness. We have Abs and Dragon, Yulaseev, Idyllica Channel, Ikubo, and Quiet Artist. 
Risking big, winning big. Cry artist, of course, risking 10,000 bees, winning back 24,431. Congrats, it's making over double, double your bees back. Um, you've just single-handedly saved the, uh, or delayed the end of the world by increasing the population of bees so that we can further be alive. I think I had a bees completely like there's a direct correlation between bees existing and humans existing but i forget is it because like bees pollinate flowers and then we eat flowers to live something like that i'm not sure but anyway let's see the losers <clears throat> one panel grass cutter risking one bee losing one bee two panels lizardy uh risking i don't even know how this works zero bees <laughs> Did not know. Uh, I guess you can say. I guess you can r risk zero bees. You can bet zero bees. You win zero bees back. So it means you're you're gambling without actually risking anything. So that, you know. Well, I mean, Lizzie he's still lost here, only risking their dignity, which is now gone. Three panels. Uh, fifty nifty. Janak is Lishty seventeen. Maggie and Fenzie. Uh, thinking it's gonna be a three panel comic. Fenzie, apologies. Uh, three uh, two thousand bees. Down the brain. Hey, four panels. Here are all the. Uh, let me just say, like, the. Uh, what are you. Not necessarily lazy. But the low risk, the risk averse uh, are here. Guessing four panels this week. Foy Fry, Luxuria, Is Misery, Renee, Annie, Big White Bear, Tofu, Stephen Alexi, Neb Bork, Dower, and Nyctophy. Uh, you all messed up. 10,000 bees as well for Nyctophy. Ooh. Oh dear. <laughs> it, w it would have been a safe bet if it wasn't so unsafe. And uh, five panels is a crazy bunch. Cerisi, Wind Up Doll, Stormy Stick, The Detonator, and Coma Code. Uh, thinking it was going to be five panel comic. Always a risky move with those odd numbered panels, but you know, they do happen. They do happen. But not this week. Not this week. Then seven panels, uh, none. Eight panels, just the one. Uh, Aslivster? Hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Nine panels, none, and ten panels. We got Dak with the hopeful one B there. Hopeful, but dead. Dead B. Dead B walking here. Okay, anyway. Let's go back. Wait, oops. Let's go back. Let's go back to highlighting the winners here. Okay, there we go. The winners there. Round of applause. Thank you everyone for participating, and uh, let's start drawing this, shall we? Uh, let's jump over here. Okay, so first things first, we always like to do this. Why is there a, why is there a black bar at the top of the screen here? What is that about? Has that always been there? Hmm. Also, I can't forget the uh, pencil. Boop! There we go. Pencil is there. Yeah, this something is something has gone horribly wrong. Cause look at this. Oh no! I mean, that's pretty. That's close enough, I suppose. Why well, is this black bar? Okay, hold on. Let me see. Uh, is that better? Yeah, and that's slightly better. Ah, it's close enough. Okay, close enough. Let's see now, and then we'll go... Oh yeah, unpause alerts, thank you. And what was I going to do? Bring this over to the side. Hey, Super Tux. Hey, thank you very much for updating the comic reveal clip. Round of applause for Super Tux. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sarah man, my pro tip to never lose the bet. Be late to the stream. Can't lose if you don't play. Very, uh, wise words from Sarah man. 100% no lose streak. <laughs> you just, you can't win with that strategy. I mean, you can't, you can't not lose. Yes. That, that sounds way better. You can't not lose better than you can't win. All right, let's see here. Let's see. But yeah, one of these days, it's going to be a 10-panel comic, and Dak is going to be 
a very rich deck. Paste. Paste it in the building. Well, come here. Hello, hello. Man, it's so, so dark here in this room. This just makes, makes the whole comic a bit more creepy as well. Talking about having a relationship with a cat. Cat's in the room. It's all dark. Ugh. Let me pat your butt. Okay. I don't have relations with my cat. Only, only BFF relations. Let's see here. Yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been a while since the camera's been this dark before, huh? It's because I, I, I covered the, the window because I thought it was just too sunny. But now I'm having regrets. Now it's looking a bit too... Too dark. And because you can't see the black hat, it just looks like I've got this, like, cut-off head. Like a Bart Simpson, but with Annie forehead. Uh, okay. Let's see here. I can get rid of that fifth panel if you wanted to, wind-up doll. <laughs> well, funnily enough, I think originally it was going to be a five-panel comic, but I didn't. I don't like five panels. I just don't like how it flows. And I felt like this one... It needed, a, it needed an extra beat before the reveal. I, I think if these two were combined, it would have been too fast to the punchline. That's how I justify it. Also, um, this is one hell of a rough sketch. If you, I'm sure you've noticed this already, but this, this sketch is looking very rough. I mean, like the only panels that look somewhat complete are basically the last two. Eh, this one's all right. I like the face, I guess. This one, I mean, she's actually going to be, I think, two dots for eyes in this panel, I think. Um, actually, that one's okay. Actually, you know what? It's just the first one that's really rough. That's where I got lazy. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, Dad and on the fifth panel, the, vet, the vet's face expression is too focused, intense. I don't know how to describe it. I feel like it should be more like a low laugh, as if, lol, no, no problem, got it. Uh, if anything, no, I need the, I need the contrast. You need the serious and then back to like, hey, you know, so he's got, hey, and then like innocently serious and then, you know, mm -hmm, back to business and then, hey, you can't have, ha ha ha, hey, it's too similar. If anything, I might, I might make this even more, uh, push it more in that direction, like a, more of like a serious, like, mm hmm, mm hmm. So, you know what I mean? We'll see. Or I'm just talking out of my ass and I'm going to change the whole thing once we get to drawing it. Who knows? <sighs> Stormy stick throughout the whole day. I'll be spending 10% energy on my schoolwork and 90% on a comic title. Excellent. Nice. I, I wholeheartedly agree with your priorities. That's exactly how I spend my, spend my, uh, <laughs> spend my time as well. Especially when it's like the day I have to post the comic and I have to settle on a, on a title. You have no idea how long I, I spend deciding on the title. I mean, the only person I would know is, is Lee because I'm, I'm constantly messaging her like, what do you think of this title? What about, what about these three? What's your favorite of these three titles? Hmm. Has to be perfect. Speaking of which, you're welcome to submit your title uh, suggestions, which we'll be going through once we're done with the comic, which I mean, that's not happening today, but maybe tomorrow, if we're lucky. Otherwise, the day after that. And Yoda, why is this co comic sketch so, so rough? Did you start it today? No, actually, I, I, I did this sketch. I did this sketch last week, actually. Um, but it's looking rough because I got lazy. And also because I feel like, uh, you know, the roughest sketch, you know, if it's not just tracing for the stream, you know, people, I think it looks more interesting for people on, when, when they're watching the stream. Uh, and also, yeah, reprioritization of time, I guess. 
uh because i've been thinking like i is there really much point to like doing a rough sketch and then like so much emphasis on another final sketch and then the final line art um i've been trying to see if i can like kind of minimize that in between like final sketch uh, and just go straight into the final line art and see how that goes save some time you know might end up being less uh rigid you know the less we do tracing direct tracings but we'll see uh but why would he be so intense after learning his name um here i mean this is like it's not intense this face is not supposed to be intense it's supposed to be just like Oh yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, mm-hmm, uh-huh. You know, like that. Back to work. And what's this, seriously? You got something for us here? Actual comic.png. What the hell is this? Oh, you're a cutie. What's your name? Excuse me, but that is extremely inappropriate. I was talking to your bunny. <laughs> oh, her name is Lola. Uh-huh, okay. So, Lola, want to make sweet, sweet love? Let's just blur that. <laughs> and, and thus, uh, a beautiful relationship was, was born. Um, healthy relationship. You know how healthy carrots are. Chocked full of vitamins. Oh. <laughs> Pace. Pace just immediately left the building. Pace has left the room. Okay. The jealous type, I see. See, this is what happens, seriously. How, how could you frame me like this? Let me on pause and get back to work. Thank you. Thank you very much for that, seriously. <laughs> All right. <sighs> seriously, you're allowed one F word at the PG-13 content? Oh, I'm, I'm saving that. I'm saving that for a very special, special moment. Don't want to rush it, you know? It has to be perfect. It has to be just right for me to... to F... F the stream. Okay, what the hell am I doing? Line art! No, borders! Yes, borders! Select, no, no, line art! Jesus Christ, I've forgotten how to... I've been in so in plucked up mode, I've forgotten how to do loading artist comics. Let's see here. Okay, sketch this out. And then... Line. Let's begin with her over here, I'd say. <clears throat> First circle. <gasps> you know what? I actually love that circle. Look at that. Uh, I've been really enjoying this kind of... Sh hey, hey, hey! None of that! Oh, gotta overwrite the booze with the yays. I'm liking this circle shape here. See, it's not it's obviously it's not a perfect circle. It's got that kind of weightiness, it's like a mochi, you know. It has a little bit of that, a little bit of the cheek. Not too much, not too much cheek, just a little bit. Um. So I think it's pretty. In fact, it's so good. I'm gonna save right here. I'm gonna save just in case I mess up. Okay, and then uh, we continue with a little bit of. Okay, I've messed it up. A little bit of the eyes. But yeah, comic code, uh, buffer, sort of, sort of a little bit of a buffer. Um, mostly with plucked up. I've been zooming along with the, with the thumbnailing process, at least with the new plucked up story. Super stoked about that. Um, right, so for those of you who don't know, all subs and patrons have access to my other comic called Plucked Up. Uh, it's about a duck. Well, it's actually, it's like me as a duck. And, uh... It's actually not even anything to do with being a duck, but... <laughs> it just looks like a duck. But it's a slice of life comic, and I just recently started a new storyline called The Cinema. And, uh... Yeah, it's been a lot of fun to come up with ideas for... So I'm looking forward to... What the hell is going on with my pen here? I've been looking forward to drawing more of that. There's something funky going on with my pen. Okay, now it's fine. 
Okay. You guys noticed it, right? It was, sometimes it was like, eh, eh. It was like that. I think this is better. Sweet. You saw it? Nice. I'm not going crazy. And, uh, hey, Uncle Joe, welcome back. Yoda, I'm a god among men with drawing circles. As long as the circles aren't actually like a proper circle, then yes, I'm good at drawing circles. I'm not one of those types that can draw like a perfect circle. Like you see that they do on the chalkboards, but they use their elbow to do it. It's like this, they do this. They, they, they swing their arms to do a perfect circle like that. Um, I don't obviously have the space for that here. So I don't even want a perfect circle, so it doesn't matter. Also, Stormy Stick, you gotta go. Catch you later, Stormy Stick. And also, comma code. Did you finish the storyline in your head before you start the story arc uh, for Plucked Up? Uh, no. <laughs> before I started Plucked Up as a, as a regular comic, um, that was going to be like one of my rules to, to have the, the full story done before I start putting it out. And that's kind of what I did for, well, that's obviously what I did for the Burnout comic for the most part. But especially the uh, first plucked up, the nice day cafe stuff. I mean, like a lot of that was done before I started even posting them in the first place. And then I immediately dropped the ball. So ever since then, it's been like, you know, every week I'm like, oh shit, now what? What's happening now? Oh god. Until recently with the cinema storyline. And hey, Rishu, 33 months, yellow, 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 well, yellow, how are you today? Thank you very much for unlocking draw game. Let's do that. Boom. Yeah. Draw them words time. Okay. If you guys don't know, be sure to drop in your words using the new channel point reward in three, two, one. So there's a new channel point reward. Submit a word, uh, as many words as you like, one per submission. And uh, at the end of the timer, we're going to be drawing, we're going to be choosing three random ones and then drawing something that uses all three words in five minutes. That's the game. Okay. <clears throat> also, detonate. I feel like a nice day, plucked up story was kind of improvi improvised by the end. I know I had I had a vague I had a vague idea for the ending, like right at the beginning even. It it only sounds or looks improvised because of how organic and fluid the storyline became. But uh, I had a rough idea of like the ending, right from the start. And, uh, can't say I have an ending for the, the current storyline yet, but I have at least a bunch of ideas before I even have to think about the ending. So that's cool. Anyway, that's, that's enough. 64 words. Let's see. 64 words plus quiet artists, <laughs> non-submitted word. Just in the chat. Whoopsies. Uh, let's see. The words we have to draw. Well, I shouldn't say have to. It sounds like a negative thing. The ways we get to draw are as follows. <clears throat> bottle. Alpaca. Trod. Okay, hold on. Bottle and trod are both by Yoyoto. Okay, I'm going to change trod because I don't know what that is. Isn't that a verb? Like trotting along? Okay, I'm going I'm to change trod to poison. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Yoda, it literally picked the two words I don't want. Then why did you submit them? <laughs> oh man. Okay, that bottle alpaca poison. I like I like that. I like that combination. Let me think about that in my head. Uh also comma code. 
for what we were talking about before, relevant office quotes. Sometimes I'll start a sentence and I don't even know where it's going. I just hope I find it along the way. That's, that's like the mantra I live by, especially for streaming. Half of like the things I say, I don't know where it's going or what words I need to use. But uh, sometimes it's more obvious than others, especially when I just trail off into the darkness. Why is it so damn dark? Hold on. That's a little bit better. Thank you for the hydration as well. Uh. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. Also, isn't this just the plot of Emperor's New Groove? The puddle alpaca poison? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's got a little alpaca on the on the bottle. I remember that. Good movie. Okay, uh, let's see. What does an alpaca even look like? I'm not... I think it's like a long. It's like a giraffe meets a horse, meets a sheep. I think that's what that looks like. And then poison. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Well, let's just let's. I think we should just gotta start. Okay? Let's start. So I'm gonna first draw the what I think is an alpaca. Maybe I should have looked up some reference for this. But too late. Let's see, what color is an alpaca? I think it's... Oops. Is it like this? Or am I thinking of Garfield? Hmm. Remember, speed is of the essence here. The vegan zombies want grains. Thank you for that. My uh, my cheerleader here, too young to die. Com comedian cheerleader. Hmm. How much time do I have? About two minutes. Okay. How did it get inside when it's so tight? 
Sounds like a comment you'd read on Pornhub. <laughs> Zing! Paste. Oh God, what am I doing? Oh man, I did not think this through. Paste. Oh God, give me strength. Paste has been so goddamn annoying recently. I play with play with her like all morning. It's actually one of the reasons why I'm late. Yeah, I hear ya. Uh, how much time? 15 seconds! Oh my god, that, that really... Done! Pause the music, there we go. Done. Bottle alpaca poison. Hey? 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 The poison, the poison for Kuzco. The poison chosen especially to kill Kuzco. Kuzco's poison. <laughs> Pet poison? I can't do his voice. Poison. Poison to it. I can't do it, man. It's great. I can't do it. Ping Haiyan! Uh, sadly, I'm going to have to downgrade my tier 2 to a tier 1. It's nothing to do with you. Well, thank you very much. Seems like you've pushed the wrong button because that looks like another tier 2 resub thing, Ryan. <laughs> but thank you very much uh, for all of the tier 2-ing. Tier 2-ing is totally unnecessary. Yeah, go down to tier 1. You, you were crazy to be with tier 2 to begin with. Every time I saw the tier 2 pop up, I just think, what the hell? <laughs> Why? Why? I'll tell you why, actually. You got all these tier 2 sub... sub... uh... sub... benefits. Like, behind the scenes. Hacks and stuff. Though, economically, it's much better to get that through Patreon, because it's cheaper that way. Anyways, um, I think it kicks in later because I did multiple months purchase. Oh! Nice. Well, nice for me, bad for you. Peng Haiyan, thank you very much. And, uh, again, here is the bottle alpac poison. Hope you... All like it. Thank you for the words. I'm going to export this now. Um, let's see here. There we go. Exporting, exporting, exporting. And here we go. Sweet. Excellent. Okay. Thank you very much, everyone. Let's get back to it. Mm. Whoops. Let me hide that. And where were we at? We were here. And Maggie finding that spider. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Hold on. I'm just going to... What is it? You know, I think I think paste once. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Sorry about this. One moment. Man, it's so bright in here all of a sudden, huh? It's out the way. Bobby. Move this Lego thing out the way. Oh, the hate. Louis Spring. Hey, Louis Spring. Thank you very much for. Subbing with that Twitch Prime. Much appreciated. Now that you're a sub, you get all the bonus panels and plucked up comics that you'd ever want. They're waiting for you in the Discord. Thank you very much. And welcome. And Psychomanity. Uh, 62 months. This comic is just Party Animal Part 2. Mm. 
No, <laughs> it's completely original. Well, maybe yes, it's a sequel. It's a, it's the cinematic universe of where humans and cats uh, form relationships. Thank you very much, Psychomanity. Welcome back. Hold on. Cat trees everywhere. Gosh. Drowning as well. Oh gosh. Thank you very much. Maggie for the hydration. Okay, anyway. Yeah, so Pace was meowing at me during that, uh, draw them words. And I think maybe Pace is feeling lonely being in the corridor where we put this cat tree, but I'm going to bring in the cat tree for now. Mix it up a little bit. I think Pace is going to have a nap now, actually, too, which is nice. Which is what I was hoping for in the first place, because I was playing with Pace, like, all morning. Uh, especially in the mornings because the light shines in through the window and I use like a mirror to like reflect the light back onto the ground and stuff and it's very cute. Very cute. But it doesn't stop her from being so annoying. Let's see here. Okay. Where are we up to? Ah. Oh. Psychomanity. Greg, are you gonna make people start? Or rather continue questioning you? <laughs> hey, whatever. That's. That's just part of being an artist, a disruptor. You gotta have people question. I'm, I'm trying to make people question things with my art. With my art. Uh, I mean, ideally, it wouldn't be questioning me, but I'll take it. Also, here's a little fun fact. I had this idea a long time ago, but I, I kept delaying it because I was like, no, it's, it's, it's been too soon since the previous comic about having a relationship with a cat. I can't do another one this quickly. <laughs> I just can't. Uh, so I've been holding on to this one for a rainy day, and that rainy day has come. Steven and Lexi, gotta head to bed now. Have a good night, everyone. I'm not 100 sure if I'm here tomorrow, so I might see you all again when I get internet in the new apartment. Take care. Hey, well, best of luck again, Steven Deluxe, on that move. And, uh, see you when I see you. Good luck. Very exciting. <laughs> Excellent. Let's see here. We got to... Yeah, this is going to be a tricky one, because I want to make sure that he, technically the vet is looking at the cat, but you want it to look like he's checking her out, like her whole bud. In which case, maybe I'll add a few more, uh... Ooh la la. No, it's almost too much! Maybe just, maybe just that. Yeah, let's see. There we go. There we go. Nice. Happy with that. Isn't moving like one of the top three stressful events of anyone's life? I think it would be. I think moving in general, like, Dying is a is a move. You're moving into the ground. So that, that counts as well. Moving to the next stage of your life. Or rather, non-life. Should I put that on a separate layer? I think I will. This will be a uh, stuff layer, and then this will be the characters. 
Yeah, and the character in the first panel has no clothes on, unlike the last panels here. So I'm going to try and replicate that. Does he have a... No, he doesn't. I thought he had like a... One of those ste ste stethoscopes? Is that what it's called? I'm not sure. But nah, I don't think it needs it. I think that's just fine. She has no arms, but... Maybe that's good. Also, she has no hair on the other side. Yeah, I think I think I need a little bit more there. It's it's a bit it's a bit strange. Almost looks like too extreme if there's no hair on that side. Like one of those like buzz cut sides, which I, which look pretty cool, but I think here it would look a bit strange at that angle. It is called a stethoscope, those things I'm talking about? Right. The heart listeners. The heart pods. Heart buds. Um... That works, that works, that works. I mean, always get to flip back and forth, make sure it's balanced. Yeah. Seems good. Oh, sorry, I forgot to answer your question there, Comic Code. Um, did you see anything interesting from the PlayStation Showcase? I had a I had a gander. I didn't watch the whole thing. I saw some parts. Uh, the part, the game that probably interest me interested me the most was called the Plucky Squire. I tried to remember the name last time we streamed, but I forgot. But now I remember Plucky Squire. That that looks really cool. And I have a friend who actually works on it too. He's one of the game designers on it. Um, so that's extra cool, even. And, uh, yeah, I think, for those of you who don't know what Plucky Squire looks like, it, it's, it's kind of like, I don't even know how to describe it, but, <laughs> but, uh, it's kind of like a platformer, but it goes from, like, all sorts of different view styles, so, like, you're in a, like, a fairy tale book, which looks really cool, like, the shaders effect, the effects on it make it look really like you're on a page. But then it like transforms out and you're like, you come out of the book, you're on a desk, you know, you're on the side of a coffee cup or something. I, lo I love that. Like, I know Mario does that a lot in its more recent games where it goes from like a 3D platformer and then you jump into the side of a wall and then it's like 2D. I love that effect. So Plucky Squire looks like it has a lot of that stuff going on. Um, also, hey, Vault Fiction, thank you for following. So that's really, uh, that's up my alley for sure. Actually, let me just show you. Let me just show off what it is. Let me, guys, give you a little gander as to what I'm... Because I can't describe crap at all, so... Here we go. This is what it looks like. <clears throat> Alright. You guys ready for this? Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the land of Mojo. Here we find Jot, the plucky squire, and his friends. Violet, Thrash, and Pip. Our heroes protect the land from the villainous sorcerer, Hungrump. I love the effect of the... See the page texture? Oh, God, I love that. And then, whoa, they come out of the page. 
And then they're walking around the table and stuff. I like that as well. Kind of reminds me of that rats map from Counter Strike. And you got this part, which you know, it's it's cool. But this, look at the coffee cup thing. And then that. Oh yeah, look at that around the box. It's cool. Oh look at that bit. The stairs. That's cool. Yeah, very cool. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. I yeah. That, see, look at this. That, that kind of like paper grain texture here, right there. Oh, I love that. Looks so cool. Um, very cool effect. And I like the art style and everything. And uh, yeah. Developed by All Possible Futures and published by Devolver Digital. It was always a good sign. Anywho. Yeah, Devolver Digital, of course, publishes games. Classic games such as Enter the Gungeon, Cult of the Lamb, uh, Downwell, Milk. Never heard of that, but sure. Anyway, back, back to uh, back to work here. Oh, Hotline Miami as well. Yes, that's true. That is true. Of course, of course, the classics. Can't forget Hotline Miami. And uh, it's back over here. Yeah, the book texture. Love that. So that's probably my favorite thing I saw from uh, that PlayStation Showcase. Um, I mean, though I, I I did know of it before, but it's cool to see it have such a like a big spotlight shown on it. Um, what else was there? I'm not really into Spider Man or anything like that. I haven't played any of the Spider Mans. Uh, I don't want hair on that side. That's fine. The new God of War game? Oh, did they... Did they show off a new God of War game? Uh, yeah, I, I, I didn't look the, at the whole thing. I only saw, like, a few things on Reddit. Oh, they didn't? Are you just asking? Oh, okay. Uh, Well, a few, because I haven't even finished the, the second one yet. The Ragnarok one yet. Oops. What else was there? Uh... Oh, oh, also that marathon game looks cool. Even though I know it's just a CG trailer, but I love the the visuals of it. Marathon by Bungie. Um I'm not sure how relevant it is to the original marathon game they made for like the Mac back in the day before Halo. I always thought Marathon was like what Halo turned out to be. I didn't re I didn't even realize that Marathon even had much fanfare, but apparently like I look at the Reddit comments and everyone's hating on it like this has nothing to do with Marathon. It's a it's a what are they called? Loot shooter? No, what is it? Loot extraction shooter. Uh that's apparently what this new version is. And of course, that genre didn't even exist back then, so I don't think it has much to do with the original Marathon game, but the visual of it looks so cool. In fact, hold on, let me just... Marathon... I may as well also show you this as well. Hold on. Pause alerts. Um... Yeah. So yeah, not actual gameplay. The music, the music's cool. That music is justice? Oh no! Copyright! God. <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. I... I... <laughs> plus, plus no copyright strike. Anyway. Um... <laughs> continuing on, because the music's too good. I can't stop it here. Is this... I had no idea this is justice.
Oof. This scene, this scene coming up, this scene coming up is the best. Wait. Wait. Wait for it. Wait. That. So cool. The visuals. This. Yeah, um, yeah, the music is awesome, um, <clears throat> and yeah, I know obviously the visual is CG completely, but just the art style alone uh, is is neat to uh, say the least. Yeah, just it, it was a, it was this scene in particular. Oh, what a cool like that 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 would be such a cool wallpaper or something. Maybe I just want a movie. I I <laughs> I just want to see a movie. Uh, set on this trailer, but uh, that way I won't fail miserably because I know I'm just there's no point in me even getting excited for a game like this because I'm just gonna I'm just gonna suck at it. <laughs> I'm gonna suck at it and I'm gonna get frustrated and I'm gonna regret ever playing it. That's my future prediction. But visually, pretty cool. And that is the Justice song. It's heavy metal by Justice, you think? Awesome. Okay, well, I'm definitely gonna let me let me have a quick peek here. Just as heavy metal. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to listen to that. Um, some more off stream. Wait, is that Heavy Metal X D V N O? Or is there a different one? Oh, is this this one? Oh yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Okay, yeah, that's the other one. Cool. Definitely saving that to my library for later. Ah. <sighs> for a nineteen ninety four game, it looks amazing. Marathon is a first person shooter video game developed and published by Bungie and released in December nineteen ninety four for the Apple Macintosh. <laughs> yes. Uh not quite the exact same game. Same name, different game. The game that actually came out in 1994 looks like <laughs> Looks a bit like this. I mean, obviously again CG trailer, but man, just it's kind of amazing how far we've come, huh? Look at that. And even though I know it's a CG trailer, I at this day and age, I mean, what they can do with game graphics, it's just mind mind bending, really. Like it's not quite like it used to be when a game trailer a CG one comes out and it's just I'm looking at you, World of Warcraft. You look at World of Warcraft trailers and they're like, oh my god! The detail, the the beard and the wind and stuff, and then you see the actual gameplay, and it's like jumping over, a, I don't know, purple rabbit in the night elf forest. <laughs> I, I mean, obviously, I know it's completely, you know, came out in the 2000, 2000 or something? I don't know. MRPG, you're not going to get graphics like that. You wouldn't even want graphics like the trailers of World of Warcraft. But I'm just saying the difference between trailers and in-game graphics are not necessarily so divided anymore. Not always, obviously, but generally I feel like we're at a pretty sweet point in terms of graphics, graphic capabilities in games. And also, who this? We also have... <laughs> First we have a spider that was caught here, Fry 101. Congrats. And... Dry Rays Girl. 46 months. My data is too slow on vacation to actually watch the stream. I only have audio only I have audio only mode on, but I did watch Detonator's uh clip and just have to say that quote, that's all I can think about every week. Just having intimate relationships with cats. Bobby. Do I want to shine a light on that more than necessary? Sure. Alright, I'll add I'll add the quote. My oh, Christ, it's gonna be yeah, that's right. <laughs> Thank you for that dry erase, girl. And uh, and thanks again for the resub. 
welcome back at least audibly audibly orally i am a cam whore <laughs> Yeah, if you only listen to the audio of this stream, it must be really apparent all of a sudden, like, why, why are there cow sounds in the background? It doesn't make any sense. But yeah, Depower, what's going on? Welcome back. And also, uh, Brain the Defiant, thank you for following. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, was well, yeah. Anyway, but I thought those those two things look pretty cool. Uh, Plucky Squire and Marathon, two very different, <laughs> two very different games. Um, also, I like the idea of an extraction shooter. I like the the idea of the genre. I just don't think I have the means to actually enjoy a game like that. I like the idea of it. So for those of you who don't know what an extraction shooter is, it's like, if I'm even getting the genre name correct in the first place, I'm not even 100% sure, but it's kind of like you drop in into an online match uh, and it's like player versus player versus everyone. What's the E stand for? PVPVE. So there's like also bots and stuff. And you go in and you try and like get loot and weapons and whatnot and solve missions and whatnot while fighting the the bots but also having to avoid or fight the players that are there too that could be there and then you get out if you can and if you get out you save the stuff you looted and if you don't get out and you die then you are dead and you lose all the stuff you had on you and hey the power with a tier two resub 35 months, and unlocking another draw game. Thank you very much. The power, thank you, thank you, thank you. Draw them words. Round two. Let's do it. All right, you guys know the drill. Throw in your words right now, and uh, we'll see what three words we will choose to draw. Uh, fun, but funny... Buffering like crazy, but funny comic this week. Hey, thank you very much, Dry Race Girl. Also, I hope you're having a, a good holiday. And, uh... Comic code Rainbow Six Extraction. Wait, is that... That's that... That's that, like, alien one, isn't it? It's like an alien spin-off of Rainbow Six Siege. Was that actually a... Uh... What's it called? Extraction loot shooter as well? Or is it just in, in the name? I never played it. But, yeah, the cool thing about that extraction loot shooter thing is that there's a little bit of, like, you know, if you die, you actually lose some stuff, which is kind of neat to have, um, you know, it's a bit more risk involved. You're not just like, oh, I'm dead for three seconds, and I'm going to respawn and come back to it. There's actually, like, some stakes in the game a little bit. So it's kind of neat. And I like the idea of, like, going in, grabbing a bunch of loot, getting out. It's... It's fun in theory, but you really need to know a lot about the game you're playing, the, the map, the layout, the strategies, you know, to really not just get completely obliterated by more advanced children players. Did you play DMZ on COD? I, I have that DMZ on Call of Duty is the only one I've actually tried because it's free. Um, and I enjoyed it for a little bit. But it's it's very uh, hard to play as a solo player. I'm constantly just trying to hide away from anyone else that I see. But it 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 was fun for a little bit. And I have not played Escape from Tarkov. That looks way too complicated. Way too complicated. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for everyone for your for your words. Forty nine words. Let's see. The three words we are going to be drawing are candy, sword. Dinosaur. Candy sword, dinosaur. What should I say? Candy dinosaur? Thank you very much. Okay, let's see. Let's think about this. 
candy sword dinosaur. Hmm. 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 We need. We can combine it even further. Can can dinosaur? Can dinosaur? <laughs> yeah, can dinosaur? Candy dinosaur? Dinosaur? Candy sword dinosaur? Candy sword dinosaur? Candy sword dinosaur? Candy sword dinosaur? Okay. All right. Ah. Uh, Okay. All right. Uh, all right. All right. All right. Let's let's let's. I got an idea. I think. I think I have an idea. Gosh, I hope I do. Let's start. I know what you're thinking. What the hell is this crap? You, you wait. You wait and see. God, I hope this is gonna work. Um... Some shading, I guess, as well. Some very light shading. Make it look even more 3D. Eh. This is extreme shading. I don't... I don't approve of this shading.
52 seconds. Damn, I've breezed through this one. Breezed. I wonder what else I could do. Maybe like... I'm not sure if that's really, really worth doing. These little, like, specs. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Shouldn't a string connect from the sword to the back of the diner's head? Uh... Uh, uh, of, co of course, what are you talking about? It's right there. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay. Um, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much for the three words. Candy, sword, dinosaur. Uh, this is, of course, those little bracelet, candy bracelet thing. What are they called? I don't even know what they're called. I can, I can totally taste the string. I, I remember what the string tastes like. Not, not so much the candy itself, but I remember just that soggy... I think it's like a white string, actually. Why, why did I make it black? Ah, whatever. Um, oh, of course, well, if it was a white string, you wouldn't be able to see it, of course, because there's a white background here. Hey, you gotta have to get up early for the first time in forever, so I gotta go early tonight. Have a good stream, everyone. Hey, no worries. Take care, Yoyoto. Have a good sleep, and good luck waking early. Take care. I think they're just called candy necklaces and bracelets. Oh, okay. Candy bracelet, candy necklace. Sure. There we go. Well, let's export that one. I think that was quite successful. Quite successful indeed. So, uh, just exporting this now. <clears throat> and, uh, there we go. Now. Tasty. Okay, thank you very much, everyone. Now let's get back to work. Do, 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 do. There we go. Uh, um, also, I might just do a quick check. This is definitely tweeting out to my... Yes, it is. Okay. Tweeting out to my other account. Perfect. Um, what if I should retweet one of them? Which one? Wait, okay, here, here's a very, very off the cuff, not even a real poll. Which one do you think is more interesting? The candy dinosaur necklace or, oh, candy sword dinosaur, technically, or the bottle alpaca poison? Which one do you think would be more interesting? Interesting. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Or just I should just probably tweet retweet both. Why not? Why not? That's just, oh, that's just the candy dinosaur. Yes, yeah, do that one. The, the new one. Doing it. All right. Good. And the new boyfriend mod. Nice drawing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's a little uh, little side side fun game we like to do here. Draw them words. Uh, you guys come up with the words. I draw it in five minutes, and then see what happens. And yeah, they automatically get posted to my draw them words account on Twitter, and also to the Discord. To power, I'm surprised by how much I've been liking Discord. I thought Discord was just some voice chat tool, but it's fun to chat there, especially on Finbeans. You mean especially on the Loading Artist server, don't you mean? But it is, it's cool. It's it's very cool to see how, like, big, I guess, Discord has become. I mean, 
some people would disagree and they probably hate how uh, uh, inflated Discord has become. But I've never used Discord as just like a voice chat tool in the first place. So seeing it actually like, you know, become useful for me personally is, uh, has been neat. But uh, it's definitely become, it's getting even more uh, of a thing. Like now with this username change, they're basically really leaning in hard on the whole social media aspect. And they also have um, like a Patreon sort of thing going on. Right now it's just for Americans, I think. Certain Americans have access to it. I forget what it's called, but it's like, I don't know if it's called just memberships or what, but basically you can like support your favorite content creator, web comic artists or something, and then you get access to exclusive content directly through Discord. That's kind of neat. Though I really do that with just everything else. So Twitch subs, Patreons, Patreons, and uh, Kofi, monthly Kofi members. Twitch subs and Kofi members, of course, get all their benefits and goodies on Discord, so it's kind of Kind of already using it that way. And six panels. Ye the power. Six whole panels. Who won the most bees? Uh, I believe that was... Let me just show you. That was Quiet Artist. There we go. Quiet Artist risking 10,000 bees, winning back 24,000. Biggest winner there. <laughs> oops, oops, oops. Oh, yeah. Oops. Ah, wrong one. Ah. Uh, there we go. Congrats, Stroke, finding that spider. It's gonna be hard to show her like being shy and like brushing her hair back behind her non-existent ear. Um, not sure how I'm gonna do that exactly. I think in the sketch I had like a loose strand of hair, which could totally work. Hmm. <laughs> Speaking of Discord, check out my, my cool uh, Discord partner mug. Even though I'm not a partner anymore. I'm just a criminal now that I have this mug without being a partner. Uh, which reminds me, everyone go check out the Discord server. So fun to be in that server and to, to uh, you know, cause activity in there. The reason that we're not a partner anymore is because... Uh, uh, I think it was it was during my um my burnout absence. I think that's what really, I think that's the one that really did me dirty. When you drop below a certain activity level for a server, you get your partner status revoked, which uh, a bit of a goof on my part. <laughs> I didn't realize <laughs> didn't realize what was happening. Oh well, but we'll get it back eventually. I mean. If they want if they want their mug back, they're gonna have to either make me partner or admit that uh, they've lost control over their mugs. I don't think they'd want that. <laughs> the power just saw the comic, Gregor. Why do you insist on comics where people are attracted to cats? <laughs> Obviously, because I'm trying to normalize it. Normalize my own secret fetish. That's that's my ultimate goal here. As <laughs> the main reason why I've become a webcomic artist to try and change the narrative on my own personal <laughs> on my own personal fetishes. Good lord. Nah, I don't know. 
it's really just I wish I had a reason other than I wish it wasn't just like it's all my brain can think of as a as a punchline. I just think there's a lot more potential in funny punchlines to do with relationships with cats that we haven't quite reached yet. Other comic other comic artists are, you know, leaning in on relatable comics, you know. That feeling when you wake up and you realize life is not worth living, etc. And I and my angle is ever notice how cats would make great Great romantic partners. <laughs> Anyone? Anyone? Hello? It's my shtick. I have a... Uh, it's my market I'm trying to dominate here. A very, very niche demographic. You're born to die. Remember, if you ever think life is not worth living, just know that your being alive irritates the shit out of someone, out of someone, and you can't let them win. Very wise words from a very relevant username. <laughs> whatever anyone's incentive is, whatever works. Is that head? Weird looking, or is it just my imagination? It's a little, it's a little stretched, isn't it? Also, I just realized this is the panel that I was supposed to be, um, kind of like making sure it looks good. Oh God! I just don't know what 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 is his vibe here in this fifth panel? Is he like just? I wanted to. I wanted him to be more like, uh-huh, uh-huh, like, routine, getting information down, you think there's nothing happening in his brain, but, oh, wait, you know. But here, he looks kind of just concerned. I want him to be a bit more, a bit more bored. And it's all about the subtle changes in his eyebrows. It makes all the difference. You can go from looking sad to concerned to angry with just like a small, small deviation of his eyebrows. Look at that. Angry. Sad. Shocked. Tired. Depressed. Kind of amazing, really, how much power there, there is in these eyebrow lines. Hmm. Hmm. Let me just try this. What if we did... What if we went with this kind of look? And now he looks judgy. Now he looks... I don't know what that is. I can't deal with that. Hey, Wolfie, six panels this week. How many people lost that bet? Quite a, quite a few. Definitely an upset. The majority of people, of course, voted for four panels, and I don't blame them. How are you doing, Wolfie? Oh my god, I, 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 I can't, I can't figure this face out. That looks a little... I think that's the best it's been. Hmm. Speaks volumes, them brows? They sure do. They sure do. It's fascinating how much emotion you can tell from just eyebrows.
Oops. There we go. Whatever, that looks fine. And then the V-neck. Yeah. Okay, looks good. Wolfie, you're doing okay? Because, uh, oh, you're doing okay dealing with some nerve pain in my leg. That's been frustrating in the past couple of weeks. Nerve pain? Oof. Nerve pain in your leg. Ouch. How did you, how did that happen? <clears throat> and what is exactly nerve pain? Is it like... Describe it. How, how would that even, how, I'm not even sure how that feels. It's like happen, I imagine it happens like all the time. You don't even have to use your leg. Born to die, I just love how a quarter inch move of the eyebrows goes from hmm to hmm. I've been practicing my expressive faces lately. Mouths can be the same way. For sure, mouths, yeah. Mouths and brows. And here's a definite mouth, mouth and brow combo that really gets a certain vibe across. Let's see if I can do my sketch justice. First of all, is that even the right? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, cool. I think that works. Very wispy. That work. I'm not sure what this brow here is doing. And you gotta make sure that he's actually looking at the cat. You know, eye contact is very important to establishing a relationship. Of course, there's no real point in doing it now if I haven't even drawn the cat yet. So I'm just going to leave it as is. What about this? Yeah. That's looking pretty good. We're zooming along here. Uh, let's see. Wolfie, Doc said the nerves coming from my spine into the sciatic nerve was twisted, and there's also some muscle tension as well. It's an electric and numbing feeling all the way down to the leg and painful to put weight on. Yikes, that does sound very painful. Sciatic nerve. Twisted. Oof. So is, is that... Oh, hoping it's just temporary. The doc did some adjustments and it felt good for a day, but the pain came back. Oh, man. How long have you been experiencing that, Wolfie? But yeah, I... I mean, did the doc say it's temporary? I feel like it should be temporary. <laughs> the way I said that, it sounds like... We're discussing some sort of uh, mechanic in a in a game. It's like, oh, there's a debuff when you do that skill. I feel like that debuff should be temporary though. Maybe the, we just check the change logs, <laughs> see what the developers say about it. Feels like a game breaking game breaking bug though. If that was more permanent for about a month. Oh yeah. Well, I hope you feel better soon. Sort of like testicular torsion, but with nerves in my hip. Oh, dear God. Oh, my God. <laughs> kind of reminds me of, not to compare this at all, I'm sure it's nowhere in the same league as what you're going through right now, Wolfie, but kind of reminds me of how, like, not that long ago, I, I did something to my, what's it called, my ul ulnar nerve? Ulnar? 
ulnar nerve? Something like in here, where your funny bone is? And I somehow did something bad to it while <laughs> washing my hands. Or was, it, or was it drying my hands? Somewhere. And then it just kind of just felt like something kept pushing against the funny bone bit, and I was just like, ugh. Oh, I don't even like thinking about it, because I'm worried it's going to come back. And, uh, I, I went through, like, a whole thing, reading up a bunch of YouTube videos and stuff about it, which I should have done first, because the thing I was doing before was, like, the number one thing to not do. Like, every YouTube video that I watched about how to, like, fix this ulnar nerve thing, um, was, like, See, what you don't want to do is uh, wildly, you know, stretch and, and twist and over, overwork it. Uh, it'll just make things a lot worse. And that's exactly what, what, what my plan was that I was doing before checking out the tutorial videos. I just kept, like, <laughs> doing all sorts of crazy stretches and hoping that it would just kind of, like, click back into place. Like, when, like basically hitting at the side of a TV to try and fix it. Um, yeah. I was doing myself a disservice, apparently. Also, check out... Check out these beans. You gotta be real quiet about this. Check this out. We're just gonna... We're just gonna... We're gonna be very quiet about this, and hopefully not, uh... Okay. Snoozy. Snoozy B. <laughs> are those magic beans? They sure are. Magic beans with with bean sprouts. A lot of tough taste has got tufty beans. Wait, hold on, let me let me Get better lighting and stuff here. Hold on. <clears throat> Let's try this again. Let's try this again. Look at these tufty beans. Wait, I'm gonna have to hold on. I'm gonna have to get the camera to automatically uh uh what's it called? Focus. Wait, wait, wait. Look at that. Look at those tufty beans. Bean sprouts. Focus. Focus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Wait for it. Oh, gosh. No.
I want this focus. There we go. So mad. <laughs> all right, all right, back to back to work, back to work, back to work. All right. Yeah, and, and then I wonder, like, oh, why does she keep bugging me? Ah, <sighs> okay. Back to work. No more distractions. Okay. <sighs> Let's see here. Okay. Oh, too dark now. Too bright. Wish there was an in-between between these two extremes. Ah, it looks a little bit better. Okay. Back to work now. Let's see where we're at. Um, let's do the... Uh... See, on the last panel, I had a stethoscope, but I decided against it for the other for the other panels. I might add a stethoscope back in, but as a, as a separate layer. It, it is definitely a lot more doctory. to the cat. <laughs> the stethoscope looked like a tiny arm for a second. <laughs> eh. Hello. Hello. Wait, whoops. Oh. Hello there. Ple pleasure to meet you. Shake my hand. Pretty cat. Oh, you're a pretty cat. <sighs> <laughs> mm. Anywho, are those colored blocks at the top of Clip City Paint new? Are they macros? Oh, up here. Uh, yes, they. Well, they're not macros. They're actually um just colors. So I can just click, and then, oops, and then so like here's yellow, and then here's orange. Here's red, um, and then the mouth colors. So I just have like these quick shortcuts for colors, instead of having to like look for them all the time. Mostly for plucked up. See these are like plucked up's uh, beak, scarf, and feet. The stripy part of the scarf, and then mouth and tongue. And I also have this little spider up here. Um, if I click it. If you look over here, it's made like a spider folder with a spider outline and spider color. Which is a quick way of just getting the layers um just into the into the file ASAP. I don't have time to make new layers and titling them spider and whatnot. <laughs> As I say after like <laughs> annoying paste for 15 minutes and touching us toe beans. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> um, so Pace has turned that. This is her head. She's facing this way. Her head's just into the wall. <laughs> I don't. I don't think she's very uh, 
happy with me. Oops. Oh, gosh. Frame rate. Yeah. <laughs> Looks comfy, though. I, I mean, I would totally do the same thing if I had a, a soft wall next to my bed that I could just smush my face into and just and still breathe as well. Because that, that thing is super thin, that fabric. So you could just like lean your head forward and then just keep breathing air. Yeah. But yeah, she only ever does that after <laughs> after I annoy her for a little bit. I wonder why. Anyways. Or if it's too bright. Sometimes they'll do that too. If it's too bright and she wants some shut eye. She'll just like one time one time I caught her actually like having her pour over her face because the the light was too bright. But she insisted on hanging out with us like in the kitchen. Very sweet. My favorite my favorite uh times with with my cat is when they are asleep. <laughs> if only there was a cat that was just permanently asleep. I guess that's just a dead cat. Oh well. Let's see here. What do we got to do next? This is the cat cat layer. We made the cat. Oh no, wait, no. Hold on. Before we do the cat layer, we got to do the uh, table layer. So let's do a quick table layer, and that is literally all it is. It's just a, it's just a line. That's all. Just a line that's slightly askew. And then we can just drag and drop the line over here. And uh, again over here. Yeah, no biggie. Just that. And, uh... Why don't we just hide... Hide the characters while we're at it. Behind the table. Well, foyer fry, nice catch on that spider. 102 spiders for you. A hundred and two? Well, look at you. The power. <laughs> Load snug. How I sleep having given up on the spider game. <laughs> yeah, spider game can get very stressful. It's like, you know, some people say it's the rat race that people get lost in. Really, it's a spider race. Let's draw the cat, starting with this one. I think this is the best sketched one. Um, I feel like every time I draw a cat, it's always a little bit different. Actually, that's too... Oh, gosh. Hmm. Not sure if I like that cat. Maybe I'll make him make it loaf a bit better. There we go. I think a more simple, simplified cat looks better. And that could be the tucked in pause. Just that. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to avoid calling this cat cleavage. <laughs> Gotta draw that cat cleavage. But yeah, it's cute when they, they tuck in their little paws. I like that. Warming their beans. Warming their chili chili beans. Pretty happy with how that cat looks. 
I mean, it looks very plain, but that's kind of the point. We're not trying to draw a sexy cat or anything like that. Uh, that looks alright. What's this, the power? In my house, our ISP out of nowhere upgraded for free our internet to 60 megabits per second. Very nice. What was it at before? And, uh, born to die? Uh, we had a cat that liked cornflakes, crunchy or soggy. <laughs> taste is, uh, has grown accustomed or has grown a taste for, uh, sometimes I have kind of, well, sometimes I have cereal, and then I'll have, like, Whatever's left over in the bowl, like a tiny little puddle of milk, I'll give to Paste. And because cats aren't supposed to have too much milk anyway, it's not very good for them uh, when they get older. But just a tiny amount. And then also recently I've been having like muesli with a bit of yogurt. And, and then Paste also likes, likes that almost too much sometimes because uh, she'll come in and just meow at me before I even, I haven't even finished eating breakfast yet. And she's already expecting me to drop my bowl. There we go. The power, it was, it was like 12 megabits before, and then they upgraded for free. Nice. Very nice. Born to die. Your cat would walk up to your brother's bowl and catch one, catch a cornflake on his claw and eat it. Oh my god, I love when a cat, I love when cats eat like a human. Well, I, I say eats like a human, but again, I don't really eat corn, corn flakes with my claws either. But when they, when they pick something up like a bicky off the ground and they have it trapped in their little beans and they just put it right to their mouth, so cute. Because yeah, that, sometimes Pace will do that. Like I'm throwing treats down the corridor or something and, and uh, she'll catch it and then just hum. Very, very, very cute. Also, you might be thinking I'm being lazy or cheating or something by copy-pasting the cat. But it is intentional. I'll tell you why. It's because I want this cat to look as, like, plain and almost just like static you know just like it's just a cat you know no personality whatsoever i think it's funnier that way Um, let's see here. Got to finish the clipboard. Oh, and then the cat, what's it called? The cat carrier, the cat jail thing. And then the limbs, oh, and then the pen as well. And that's pretty, pretty much it for line art, if you can believe it. Hmm. Hmm. Not bad. Okay, so I think next, yeah. Uh, let's go back to the stuff layer. Stuff layer. And finish the stuff. So starting with this clipboard thing I have. Just like that. Yeah, nothing special about it. Same clipboard here, but it's a little bit lower.
Nice. And then clipboard again here and oh, and the last panel too. That's true. Okay, yeah. Do, do, ah. Relatively straight lines. Eh. Eh. Gosh. Uh. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect, okay. And then this one. I'm wondering if this one should have, like if, if the, I'm a little confused by this last panel here because, so the vet is holding the clipboard and he's like writing on it. And then in the last panel, he kind of like puts it down as he's like trying to lean in toward the cat. Puts it down. I guess you'd be putting it down face forward. Not only because that means I don't have to draw the piece of paper on top, but it makes more sense. I think if you... Oh, no, wait, hold on. I've done this completely wrong. See, I'm silly. In the sketch, I've drawn the, um, the clip part of the clipboard here, but that doesn't make any sense because I was thinking he would, like, put it, put it down. Here, let me just get a piece of paper. It's my, my car service receipt. So he's got the clipboard here. I'm thinking if he's putting it down that way, like this. But I think it would make more sense if you put it down like that, face forward. Therefore, this is so convoluted. Therefore, you wouldn't see the clip part because the clip part would be on this side. Yes, I think that makes the most sense. Boom. 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 Cool. Boom. Uh, thank you very much. Oh, I've run out of drinks. Might actually go for a quick BRB in a second. Let me just finish the stuff. The clipboard stuff here. Yeah, that looks good. Actually, make it a little bit wider. Yeah! Nah, I think... <laughs> I think it's gonna look weird. With having no... Oh no, of course, no, that's right, the paper will be here, though. That's right, that's right, the paper's here. Also, hey, congrats on that, uh, spider grass cutter. Congrats. There we go. This feels better. Yes. Okay. So this is the this is the paper. Which it's gonna have like details, but da da da, and um, some like writing details. And then he's gonna have his arm here, and like a pen here, or like a pen there. Yes. That's that's the way to do it. Okay. Cool. I feel good about that. Um. But I'm going to BRB first and just get some more water. Oh, well, so what game would you play next week? Arctic Phone again or something else? Mm. I'm not sure. I don't... I don't know, Ikubo. I'm not sure. I mean, Arctic Phone's always fun. But... I guess we'll see. I'm up with the suggestions, though. That guy looks fun. Um, but yeah, on that note, I'm going to BRB here for a quick second. So, pause in the music, and I will be back in a couple minutes. So, good time to stand up, stretch your legs. Uh, well, not you, Wolfie. You, you sit tight with that nerve, nerve pain. You take it easy. But everyone else, stretch your legs and get a glass of water or whatever, and I'll see you soon. BRB. Oh, welcome back, welcome back. It's crazy seeing that in that clip just before, 
uh, pay sleeping on the top of the cat tree. I forget how tall it used to be because, uh, I mean, now it's just, we have to get rid of the, the, the extended part because it was too wobbly because certain someone was too fat. I won't be naming names, but couldn't handle all the weight. <laughs> there was too much weight at the top. Uh, this is wild to see how tall it used to be. I completely forgot. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> Welcome back. Where were we up to here? Finish finishing the clipboard. Man, we are zooming along with this line art. Loving that. Loving that pet house uh, carrier thing. Cat carrier. Wait, hold on. I've got my cheeky, sneaky face. Cheeky, sneaky face going on here. It's because I just want to have a quick, I want to have a quick, quick check here. Could this work? Hold up. Let me just hide the the screen for a second while I open up a certain file, and then wait. Wait. This is so pointless because it's just taking more time than it would have taken just to draw it again, but... Bo <gasps> Boom! Cat cage! Excellent. Oops, actually messed it up. Boom. Now that's... Efficiency. But I don't know if that looks any good. Now that I'm looking at it, it looks kind of strange. Is that even what a cat cat cage looks like? I mean, if you look at it like this, I'm like, oh yeah, that, that's a cat cage. But if you just see half of it, I don't know if this really uh, does enough to to sell itself on just half the visual. You know what I mean? Like, that's obviously a cat cage, but this, I don't know. It still looks like a cat carrier to you, Fire Fry? Hmm. I guess we could just see how it goes. We could, we could keep it for now. And see if the coloring will make it look better. Yeah, coloring could, could definitely help sell it. That's true. The other one here. Um, I might even move her forward a bit, so I'm going to have the cat carrier that about there. And then, let me just get rid of these. And then move her forward. So using the characters layer, selecting her. And just a smidge there. Yeah, shifting everything to the right. More than just her, yeah, I think the... Yeah, I think that could probably even be better because now she's a bit too close to the cat. I mean, it looks fine like this, but if you remember, she has to have uh, her limb kind of coming out and, and holding her hip. It could be a bit too close to the cat, so in which case, maybe just maybe everything to the right would be a bit better. Yeah. Even here to an extent. Because I know I need space over here for the text, but that's a lot of space for text. You know what? I think, I think you might be onto something here. I'm gonna select this, move forward. Actually, hold on. Let me try it again. I'm gonna ah, son of a, hold on. Try it again. One, two, three, four. Select the cat. One, two, three, four. And then we can move the cat carrier 
one, two, whatever. There we go. Over here. Also, by the way, hey, Tantrum. Tantrum, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the, the slowest stream on Twitch. Um, characters. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Cat. Ooh. Maybe the cat cage back a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Tantrum, love you, comics. Aww. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, and welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Working on the new comic this week. And then next week, maybe some more Gartic phone or something. And then the week after that, more comics again. Yeah. Also, on a rare on a rare note, uh, I actually have the bonus panels already in mind and sketched up for this week's comic. This is how this is how uh, prepared I am recently. It's like a somewhat buffer. I mean, I guess that counts as a buffer in a way, a little bit. I feel so ahead of schedule. Feels good. Um, what was I doing? <laughs> now what? I'm forgotten. I've forgotten everything. Uh, cat cage. Oh yeah, limbs. Limbs and yeah, limbs. Let's do limbs now. So I'm gonna. I'm also just gonna quickly fix this. I hate how the bars are going over the edge here. So I'm just gonna quickly select that, add a mask, and be done with that. Uh. And also. Move, move this up a smidge too. Okay. Now, limbs. Limbs layer. <clears throat> Get our turnip pen. Ah, before I do that though, I want to. This is such a mess right now. This, this, I can't see what I'm, what I'm doing here. I'm supposed to be gripping the, the clipboard with a pen, but because of all the lines of the body showing through, I'm going to then quickly first erase that part. There we go, much cleaner. Same with this. Not really liking the how that jacket kind of meets the line of the clipboard here. It's a bit. That's a little bit better. There we go. Um, hide that part. Hide this part behind the cat. And remember, I'm not actually erasing here. I'm just, I'm masking out. Whatever I get rid of, I can always bring back. Like magic. Yeah, hide that part. And we're good. Then we also, while I'm at it, I may as well also hide the parts of the table I don't want. So we don't want it there. Got to do this part. Excellent. Um, over here, table. Get rid of this table part here. And also behind the cat carrier. Easy. Oh. And also hide this stuff. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. Make everything full opacity. And check if I have any pro you know what? I don't <laughs> I don't like how this line of the cat meets the line of the tail so much. It's a bit distracting. So what I'm gonna do is what I'm gonna do is 
shift the tail up a bit. This is delete that. There we go. That looks way better. Yeah, just just like that. Easy peasy. Ooh. Now the limbs. Um, he's gonna have sleeves, but first I'd like to just do the arm bit. I, I don't know. This uh, it almost seems unnecessary if I'm gonna be hiding most of this for the sleeve, but I think it makes it a little bit easier to to visualize rather than just trying to draw the sleeve directly. And here's our sassy arms. Seems almost a little too thick, but... Nah, I think, I think it'll be fine. And over here, they're a bit thinner, because it's further away. But now we've got this cat tree... I mean, the cat carry in the way. Nah, it's good. All good. And here he's pointing to the cat. So he's gonna go like... Like that. Maybe a little bit more raised so it's easy to see. Yeah, it looks good. And here she is blushing and kind of putting some strands of hair behind her head. Need to do the sleeves here as well. And she's also patting the cat. So, kind of looks like that. Yep, that looks good. And here we got... him holding the clipboard again. And the pen. And in here it is set down in a little strong pose behind them. Is it just me or are the arms extra thick? They look a little thick, right? I, I thought they looked a bit thick, but there are 60 points, which is which is my usual, I think, for that kind of sized character. But maybe I'm wrong. They look a little extra thick. Oh, I can always I can tweak them easier uh, easily later. I'll keep them like that for now. But what I want to do now is the sleeves. So we'll make a new layer on top of everything, and go through each layer. I mean each panel, and just give them sleeves. Which I mean I know this is like such a stupid. Steve a roundabout way of drawing. It's like, oh, I gotta draw the skeleton first, and then I have the skin, and then... Or I skeleton first, then the muscles, and then the skin, and then erase the muscles and the bones, and yada yada. I think it just... It does help a little bit. I don't know. Or I'm crazy. That. And then her sleeve is missing here. I'm just going to draw it there. Yep.
Yep, like that. And then the final panel. I have to avoid making the sleeves look too skinny, though. I don't like what that looks like, usually. They look like straws. Or like noodles. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's see now. Let's remove these parts of the limbs. Yeah, I'm definitely uh, seeing some noodle arms. That looks a bit strange. Oh my god. Grass cutter. Finding that spider, congrats. Good job, good job. Also, hey birdie. The the limbs look thick because they didn't skip skip arm day. Very true. That could explain it. Although it's funny, the limbs look thick, but then when you make them wear tight sleeves, they suddenly look really skinny. Jesus. Can't believe I'm, I'm having such trouble with just stick arms. Like, <laughs> stick arms were supposed to be the way of never having trouble with limbs, you know? It doesn't get any more basic than stick arms. I think now that I've been working on Plucked Up for so long and they have thick, thick arms with fingers and stuff, I've actually grown quite used to it. So much so that the stick arms in Loading Artist feels uh, more tricky to get right because of how simple they are. Because the simpler something is, the more easy you can mess it up. Like, oh, you've only messed up, like, you know, one line? That's a big deal if there's only one line you have to draw. But if you're drawing, like, 20 lines and one line is messed up, then it's like, well, no one's going to really... No one's going to be able to tell because, you know, you got 19 other lines that look decent. Full arms for all the comics now? Oh, no, no, no. I think... I think... I... I, I don't think I can ever change the loading artist to be full arms. We tried once and it it caused such an uproar. <laughs> Though to be fair, those arms didn't look very good. That was before I kind of well nailed it for plucked up. I think I think the way that the arms look and plucked up look pretty good now, but when I first tried it with loading artists, they were too thick. Too thick and too stubby. And it looked weird. Oh, everyone, everyone was up in arms about it. <laughs> oh my God. I suddenly doubled up the laughter and it just sounds like we're being haunted by a comedy club. <laughs> everyone was up in arms about it. Damn, that's good. I, I even... As I was saying that stuff, I, I thought my brain was like, Hey, Gregor, watch out. There's going to be an excellent pun in here somewhere. You just have to find it. And I, for like two seconds, I thought, I tried to think of it. it didn't come to me. And I thought, nah, there's no pun. And then Exit Comics comes out of nowhere. S swinging. Her arms. Nah. 
Whatever. Also, I'm just realizing this is not saving correctly for some reason. Why is this? There's a little warning sign here. What does that say? Eh? Okay. Works now. That was strange. Sometimes it's like sometimes it might fail to save for some reason. I think because I have um a uh backup an automatic backup thing in Majiggy, and if it's like backing up the file I'm working on at the same time that I'm saving, it can kind of corrupt itself a little bit. But uh usually it would pop up saying, Oh hey, save failed, try again. But because in the recent Clip City Paint update, they have this um, save in the background feature that Photoshop has as well. So when you hit save, you can keep working. And then up in the corner here, if you can see, it's got a little down arrow saying it's like it's working on it, working on saving it in the background. Which is nice, but not when there's a problem and it doesn't tell you about it and only gives you a little error indicator in the corner. Like one time I was working on a, on a plucked up and I didn't realize my computer ran out of space. I, I had literally less than a megabyte of space on my hard drive because of some... I was, I was trying to edit a video and the cache got a lot bigger than I expected. And yada, yada. So I was working on this comic and it wasn't... I had no idea, but it wasn't saving for like the past two hours because every time I tried saving, it didn't have enough space to save in and it wouldn't tell me about it other than that little indicator in the, in the corner. That was scary. Bobby. Hey, Nico Arts. Hello, hello. Welcome. Thank you for following. And Exocomics, you just elbowed in. It's pretty good. <laughs> you are killing me with your puns. I'm dying of jealousy here. Also, Cache, Cache. It always weirds me out to hear cache. Do you mean cache? How do people say it again? Cache? Clear a cache and cookies? Clear a cache and cookies? Catchy? Cache. Catch. Cash. A uh, cash. Cash. That's all right. Cash. That's right. I had some video editing. Cash. Well, that doesn't sound right either, does it? That just sounds like I'm talking about money. I had, I had too much cash, and it was slowing down my computer. Nah, cache. Cash. <laughs> also, uh, Nico Arts, your art is really good. Hey, well, Aww. thank you very much. Thank you very much, Nico, and thanks again for the follow. I, uh, I'm glad you like it. Oh gosh, I think we're done with the limbs and sleeves. I'm going to turn the limbs back on full and erase parts of the table. Do, 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 just that, and then erase parts of the characters. Do, 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 do. Mm. Doop, 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 doop. Oh, and also the sleeves. Whoops, go to that. And the clipboard. Yeah, okay, and we'll get rid of this. Oh, and fix this part too. Nice. I think that looks pretty good. I want to do her hair. Fiera. Uh, Fire Abend Beer. Greets and good morning. Oh, good morning. Be good as dear. Oh no. What have I done? Technically, this should be the...
right? Hello, hello. That looks all right now, I think. Kind of weird that this part of the head is here. I don't know if that makes sense. Maybe this makes more sense. Hmm. Hmm. Dower, you know what my you know what was my craziest pronunciation revelation? To learn that archive isn't pronounced like achieve. <laughs> archive. I love archive comics. <laughs> Which one's <laughs> Who is Archive gonna go for? Betty or Veronica? <laughs> it looked like a bold spot before. This was the bold spot. Yeah, this is this looks better. This looks better. Yes. I'll say, hey, list of virus. Hello, hello. How are you today? The power. My math teacher used to say determine. Oh, instead of determine. Determine. Come on, I always pronounced decal as diesel. Decal? I, I, isn't this something that X Comics disagrees with me on? I think it's pronounced decal. But now I'm not sure. I'm, now I'm not even sure if X Comics disagreed or not. Or is it? I think I used to think it was decal, but I think it's decal, which sounds wrong. Decal. It's de it's definitely decal. Okay, we're in agreement then. Exocomics. It was something else that we didn't see eye to eye. I think it was Ian Mayer, is one mayor. Exocomics, like when someone is you know in charge of a town, they are the mayor, but Exocomics says mayor. Just like one syllable. Wasn't there another word that we were just like we were uh, not arguing but disagreeing about how many how many syllables it had? What what was it was a name, wasn't it? Someone's name. It's like how many syllables does his name have? What was it? The power. I want to know how a friend pronounced this. There's another way of pronouncing it other than that. And Fenzie, your uncle who does a lot of graphic stuff disagreed. It's not pronounced decal. Hmm. Oh, Tanya. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. My friend pronounced this. These nuts got him. <laughs> Thank you to Power. But yeah, Tanya. The name Tanya. How many syllables does the name Tanya have? In your opinion, so I think it's two. Tan, yeah, Tanya. But X Comics thinks it's three. Tania. Tania. Never heard of that before. I always thought Tanya. Two syllables, uh, five letters, that's all. No, you're saying it wrong. We have. Wait, I'm. I'm saying your pronunciation wrong. <laughs> I'm. I, I'm trying to be as impartial as possible here. Tanya, Tanya, Tanya. Isn't that how you pronounce it? Tanya. It's both two and three syllables because it depends on how you pronounce it and not how it's spelled. The only Tanya I know says it. Tanya, Tanya, Tanya. I don't know. Tanya. How did I say it in Red Alert? Command and Conquer. That's like, that should be the, the rule. How do they say it? Not sure if I like her hair like this or it should be more like this. That's weird. Oh gosh. Hmm.
Oh, I gotta do the pen. I just realized. Whoops. I almost forgot the pen. There we go. Easy peas. There we go. And then hide the character as well. This, this whole topic also reminded me that my HTML professor in uni pronounced hidden like hidden. Oh my god. Kamika, Tanya was annoying in elementary school. Me and my friend was looking up the word sex in the encyclopedia and she told on us. So we had to pull our card on the wall. Wait, so we had to pull our card on the wall? Huh? What, is that? what does that mean, Comico? What does pulling your card on the wall mean? If you pull three cards, it shows red, which gives us a pink slip and detention. Wait, what? That's a... I've never heard of that system before in a, in a primary school. So everyone has... Basically, like, three... Wait, have, did you go to, like, some sort of football college? Everyone has their own card on the wall. And it's all, like, three cards deep. And every time someone messes up, you pull a card off, and then after three pulls, there's just like this red background, and that means you're disqualified? <laughs> you're banned for the rest of the season? If you pull four cards, you get a black card, which means suspension. Wow, that is... <laughs> that is such a bizarre system. And like just a constant reminder of like a constant threat basically in primary school. Seeing everyone's cards on the wall. Oh my goodness. Also, Exocomics, word pronunciation aside, at least I don't make you watch awful movies. He recently made me watch the cable guy and then also about time. Both suck. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. I didn't I never said the cable guy was good. I didn't say it was a good movie. I just said it was very controversial and a lot of people didn't like it when it came out. And I thought the cable guy might have aged better over time. Especially now that I'm an adult. And I, an adult, maybe I can relate to it more because it's all about not wanting any friends. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's still not very good. Cable guy is not very good. Not a good movie. Not a good movie. And then about time, I remember it being good. And hey, it's got four out of five on Letterboxd. And I remember, I remember thinking like, I remember seeing it and thinking, wow, even though this is like technically like a rom-com, I enjoyed it because it has like this interesting angle to it about time travel that I didn't really anticipate. Well, I mean, I anticipated it because that was the whole point of the movie. It's like not even a spoiler. It's like right at the beginning. It's a whole point the movie exists but yeah it has not it's not good the first third was good and then it just gets bad and cheesy and just awful i choose back well it's because hey 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 it's because exocomics refuses to watch the good ones i've been suggesting back to the future for like a million years now and exocomics always vetoes it she's never seen it Refuses to watch Back to the Future, and that's like a solid movie. Like that, that, that's that movie's script is used as an example in like script writing college. <laughs> Move on. There are other movies. <laughs> Let's 
I, the thing is, I'm not even a huge Back to the Future fan. I wouldn't even call myself a Back to the Future fan. I can just, I, I respect that it's a good movie. And it's just very strange to meet someone who hasn't seen it. And by saying I'm not a fan of it, I'm not saying like I don't like it. Of course I like Back to the Future, but I'm not, I'm not like one of those, you know, I cosplay as Back to the Future for conventions and hoverboards, am I right? I'm not like that. But I acknowledge it's a good movie. Yeah, you're the, you're the one in the wrong here. You're on the wrong side of history here, Exa Comics. Everyone's turning on you. Cersei's turning on you. Super Tux is turning on you. <laughs> good lord. Uh, let's see here. Also, before we move on from Cable Guy, let's see, Fenzie. It was Jim Carrey's first serious role, and I remember the reaction was brutal. Well, it's not even really a serious role, because Jim Carrey is like... He's acting as Jim Carrey in that movie. Uh, but the, the movie's tone is all over the place because it's supposed to be kind of dark and like a thriller, but it, it doesn't go hard enough to be that. It just feels like a not very funny The Mask, you know what I mean? Uh, and then there's like this is weird anti-TV cheesy kind of like moral at the end of the movie. It's so bad that I almost feel like, is it a joke? I can't even tell if it's a joke or not. But basically, if you don't want spoilers for this movie that came out like 30 years ago, just cover your ears for a second. But in The Cable Guy, so obviously The Cable Guy, he's all about, he's The Cable Guy. He installs cable for TV and whatnot. So he has all these references to movies and TV shows because he's like, he grew up with that. And at the end of the movie, like, something happens. I won't say too much spoiler. But something happens, and the cable goes out for, like, the whole country or something. And then they show all these this montage of people, you know, in, in their homes, the TV goes off, and everyone's like, what do we do now? And then this is one guy, TV goes off, and he's like, oh, TV's off. And he looks to the side, and he's, he, picks up, he picks up a random book from, like, his living room table, and it just, like, opens it at a random page and starts reading, and he's like, Hmm. Starts smiling and stuff. It's just so on the nose. I I can't, I can't tell if it's made to like it's a playful laughs because it's so cheesy. Uh, but it, it kind of feels like they're trying to say say a point here, like you know, books are good, TV is bad. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Anyway, that's the cable guy. Uh. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't good. And let's see here. Exocomics. I finally got Gregor to watch Ernest and Celestine. I want him to watch My Life as a Courgette. I think Gregor objects to reading subtitles. And I had to make him watch Marcel the Shell with Shoes on. Excuse me, what? Excuse me, what? Uh, I was super keen for Marcel the Shell with Shoes on. I, I mean, I hadn't heard of it until he mentioned it. But ever, since he mentioned it, I was like, that sounds... Interesting and not at all quirky. <laughs> Just the right amount of quirky. I liked it. I gave it a high review. Uh, and Ernest and Celestine was good. I liked it a lot too. Um, no classic for me. The story for me ain't all that. But it's good. It's animated very nicely. Ernest and Celestine is a 2D animated movie with a about a bear and a mouse. And uh, it's based off like an old bunch of children's books. It's animated very well. And it's got a lot of heart in it. 
And uh, I believe I gave it four out of five stars. Hey, Sid27 and Mr. Zed's SB. Hello, hello. Welcome to the, the Loading Artist stream, where we draw comics very slowly and uh, complain about movies. X Comics, yes. X Comics likes a lot of film festival films. You know, you know what this makes you sound like? It makes you sound like a snob. It makes you sound like a film snob. I, w I refuse to watch Back to the Future and Jurassic Park and Toy Story. I'd rather watch My Life as a Courgette. And other film festival -y films. I can't think of any at the top of my head. <laughs> uh, that, I'm sorry, what? Toy Story? I, I had to convince her to watch Toy Story. We watched it in the end. We watched all of them. But she hadn't seen it. And then it took a lot of convincing because she said it looked old and bad. <laughs> and to be fair, it does look very dated. But you had to, like, you gotta appreciate it. It came out in, like, 1998 or 95 or something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, also, Mr. Just called Mr. All right, I'll remember that. And Sid, any Marvel fans here? Into the Spider-Verse? Oh, yeah, looking forward to Into the Spider-Verse. Uh, definitely going to check that out. I really enjoyed the... I mean, I'm, I'm going to check out the f sequel. I, f I enjoyed the first one. What's the sequel one called? The first one's called Into the Spider-Verse. The other one's like... Something else. Back to the Spider-Verse. Sp spider... Across the Spider-Verse. Yeah, there we go. And the third one is going to be called Beyond the Spider-Verse. Oh, really? They've already announced the third one, too? Uh... Oh, sweet. I'm looking forward to it. More so the just the, the art style. I, I'm not really, like, so, like, interested in the storyline. I'm just going to check out the new Spider-Verse movie. 99% for the just the visuals. But I enjoyed the first one. Story and all. Is it Chris Miller and Phil Lord for all Spider-Verse movies? That's good. Uh, <laughs> X-Comics is in damage control mode. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, X-Comics didn't push back very hard on Toy Story. And we did watch all of them. All four of them, which was not necessary. Robbie. It's really just Back to the Future that's like the main thing. I, I recently got out to watch The Truman Show, so I'm, I'm pleased about that. And hey, you gotta admit, that was a good movie. Truman Show is a good movie. Hey, Sid27, thank you for following. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Checking it. Whoops. Let's get rid of that. Eh. Get out of here. Uh, watch list. Let's see. My letterboxed. Uh, hey, I want to see. I want to see Whiplash again. It's one of my favorite movies, but I've only seen it once. I've seen the, the end scene like a bunch of times, but I want to watch the whole thing again at some point. Sleep in Seattle. One of those classics I haven't seen. Uh. Gotta watch that. Yeah. Yeah. This is my watch list. I think this one's even not even a movie, that's a TV show. Uh but yeah. Oh, I should take Blonde off actually. <laughs> Apparently it's very bad. 
uh, also, I'm just realizing now, I hope there's no nudity in any of these posters. Hmm. Should be good. Yeah. You have to watch Whiplash? Oh, it's so good. So good. I love the poster there, too. It is good. I gave it five stars. Look at that, 4.4. God damn. Uh, it Chapter 2. Oh, yeah. Is It Chapter 2 good? I remember people liking the first one. I, I don't remember how I felt about the first one. I watched the first one. I'm not super into horror movies. I always assume that, especially for horror movies, that the sequels are always going to be bad. Haven't watched The Whale yet, Coma Code. Dower, you could say it's taking you a whale to watch it. <laughs> yeah, I want to see The Whale as well, but I, I, I'm never in the mood to be like, let's get depressed. Like, I never really want to watch a... I'm never in the mood for such a depressing movie. Uh, I feel like I'm rarely in the mood for most of the movies on my watch list. Like, Godfather is something I really... Desperately need to see. I, I feel like it's one of those. Yeah, Godfather and Kill Bill, I feel like are two embarrassing uh, shortcomings of my film history. Haven't seen either of those. Well, I haven't seen any of the Godfathers, let alone one, two, or three. Uh, and I haven't seen any of the Kill Bills. And yeah, I just. Godfather's so long. Kill Bill's a lot shorter than Godfather. You like Kill Bill, but man, it gets boring at times. Yeah, I don't know why. I just never, it never really like super jumped out to me because I like Tarantino movies generally, but I, the violent parts of it are never really my favorite parts of Tarantino movies, which is kind of like slanderous to say because it's like everyone loves the violence so much. I mean, I don't mind it. It's just not my favorite part. Like, for example, like Inglorious Bastards, I think is a good example. Like, like the, the whole last climactic section of the movie, I'm just like, eh, kind of bored by my, like my more interested parts are where like just the dialogue, the one on one scenes, that whole under un, the, that whole basement bar scene, just the dialogue, the conversation. The intensity. That's like my favorite scene of the whole movie. Uh, but then when like, I feel like a lot of Tarantino movies, like in the third act at the end, it's always going to be like, and then everything explodes and everything's on fire and then everyone gets shot uh, like Django Unchained and Inglorious Bastards. And... Other movies. <laughs> I can't remember now. Oh man, I'm just I'm just dragging my feet here. I'm done, by the way. I'm not gonna be doing any more work today, uh, at least on this comic. I I I finished the line art, and that's all my brain was ready to handle for today's stream. So right now, I'm just really just shooting the breeze, shooting the breeze with you guys. So check out that little that little bee. Look at cute little. Oh. <laughs> as soon as I pull out the camera, she's like, nah. No thanks. I'm gonna stuff my face into the wall instead. <laughs> Look at that lump. Huh. I was, like, I was speaking of Django, by the way. That's another one. Same with the Inglorious Bastards. Love that intense bar underground scene. In, in, in Django, my favorite scene was like just when they're around that dinner table. And it's like that scene where you're like, oh, did you know Leonardo DiCaprio actually cuts his hand and 
he went with the scene and he smears the blood and all that stuff. Uh, that's like also probably one of my favorite scenes of that movie. And it's a fun bit of trivia. Although there's a lot of people get that trivia wrong. They hear the trivia that DiCaprio slams his hand down on the table and accidentally cuts himself on something, on I think one of the teacup plates or something. And uh, he starts bleeding. And it's not part of the script, but he goes along with it. And uh, you see it in the movie. But people then think that because there's a scene where he like smears his hand over someone's face and his blood goes all over their face. They, th <laughs> they think that that's also just DiCaprio making it up as he goes along. And that's totally not at all <laughs> the case. Because <laughs> first of all, that'd be super unprofessional and like a health hazard. But uh, that, that scene is something they shot afterwards with like fake blood. But the first part, when he slams his head, his hand down, and he starts bleeding a little bit, and you can see him, he's like doing this, his hand, hand, that's real. But then it cuts later on, and then he smears the blood over her face. That's like fake, because they just, they went with it. They're like, oh, that's cool, you got a bloody hand, how about we do this? But they use fake blood. Because yeah, it would be, <laughs> it, would be uh, it would be super unprofessional and disrespectful for the actress as well, just to have like, Someone else's blood smeared all over you without your knowledge or consent. But uh, it's still a really fun bit of trivia. I love movie trivia like that. Anywho's, I think this has been a nice stream. Um, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to go get some lunch now. So it's been a very successful, productive comic stream. Let's have a quick gander again at what we did. The line art for all six panels. Look at that. I may need to give her an arm. It does look a bit strange that she has no arm. <laughs> but uh, I'm just going to go with it for now. And uh, yeah, I think we're in a good, good position for tomorrow's stream. Or I'll start coloring and shading and maybe even finishing the entire comic. Which means the third day will be something else. Starting phone or just chatting or chilling out or whatever. Uh, what's for lunch? Hmm. Sandwich, I think. I think it's a sandwich day. Might have a sandwich. And uh, yes, Comic Cut, I will also keep an eye out for that Maggie sauce next time I go shopping. I'm very curious. Like the, the hype is unreal. The hype you've built up with this Maggie Sauce thing. I I feel like it would it would have to be just I don't know. Laced with all sorts of drugs for it to like match the the reaction I'm expecting from it. <laughs> Downplay the hype, it's okay. No, 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 no. It's it's uh I'm expecting my tongue to just do a, a complete Somersault, as soon as it touches a drip of that sauce. <laughs> I'll be disappointed if it's any less. Okay, on that note, let's wrap it up and uh, find a stream to raid. And I'll catch you all in tomorrow's one. Let's have a quick peek here. <clears throat> let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. How about we raid liberty? Hey, that rhymes, and I'm on time for lunch. Let's do this. Liber liberty, liberty. Uh, we're making stickers. Is the title? We're making stickers, and there is a, a very plump, sleepy cat in the camera. Uh, so let's go and send Liberty some loading hours love, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's stream. Goodbye, farewell, and good night. Uh... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this button. <laughs> see ya!